Hey guys, part two of the Speedo and Rev Counter. Johnny Five is well and truly dead. I've robbed him of parts. So he's uh, over there. <laughs> right. Now for the GPS bit. So obviously we've got everything a lot more compact, a bit smarter, and I'm trying to keep it all compact so we haven't got bits everywhere. So the, spe the Speedo, the GPS unit is still going in the top. I'm just figuring that out how to make it look right because I can't sink it in as much as I did on Johnny 5. So I've got to figure that out, see if it'll look all right. Slightly exposed at the sides, I think it will. And then I'm hoping today the warning lights will come. But if not, we'll sort of start the body for them, but not cut it out where I'm going to sink them in. But anyway, I'm going to cut this out and then we'll see how far I can sink it in, because obviously it can only go so deep before it hits the body of the speedo or the rev counter, whichever way I end up putting it. That's it, his lid's off. Okay, where did I, where did I put the bit I cut out of Johnny? Hold on, <laughs> here it is. Right, that's got the uh, the main bit out. I may have to trim it out a bit more for it to drop in. Yes, I will. to start with that would help. Oh, a bit off the corners and that's going to drop in. And someone's up my door. Where was I before someone rang me bell? Cutting this out. We're nearly there. Very nearly there. Tiny bit more and that's gonna drop in. Now, I've got to decide what to do with the with the sides. Right, I've got that sunk in. I've just put some little tacks on it. I'm now going to take the sides off and get it all flush with the radius. And then I'm going to do a little bit at the back here that sort of covers the cable. So you'll see a bit more of the GPS unit, but I think it'll look all right. So it'll be sort of sunk in at the top there, and the side, you'll see it at the sides. I think that'll be fine. Then I'll figure something else out here that designed the cable, like I say. thinking now I think it would do I grind it all the way down flush like these bits 
or do I weld that round? We have a little bead round there. I can dress it all in so it all looks nice and neat and obviously a part of the, uh, the design. Oh, decisions, decisions. Tell you what, I am. I'm going to weld a bead round it, dress it all in, and see what it looks like. Because I can always take it all the way back if I don't like it, or in a couple of days' time, I can completely change my mind and scrap it. <laughs> Hopefully not. Right, I have literally <laughs> just built the weld up. to give me some material to shape. I say if it don't work, it's no big, I can just do it completely flush. I'm gonna try and do this, so it, I don't know. I just think it might look better with some sort of like frame around it. So it looks absolutely terrible at the minute. But we can sort of do, do a bit of modeling and grinding and fettling. Let's see if we can get a nice shape going on. Right, that's one side taking shape. Took a bit of doing that, that's. I don't know how much you'll see it. Obviously, we've got the side where I've built up loads of weld to dress back. And we're going to start bringing it into shape. So it literally has got like a little lip round there and that disappears into nothing at the top and back out again that side to match this side. So we've still got bits to dress up. You sort of see where it's going. I think that'll just give it a better finish than having absolutely nothing there. Right, on with the other side and I've got to charge my microphones up. Right, that bit's nearly there, as in the uh, little ridge round where it's going to sit. All I need to do now is make a little cover that goes over the wire. So, still a tiny bit of dressing up to do in places. So we're going to make a little cover that goes over here now and just tapers off down the back here. That's why I haven't really gone mad at dressing this up yet. I've got a bit of tube that I've cut out of a bend of an old rear end off the end field. So I'm going to slice this a bit more probably shorten it a bit then that'll go over there like so and it'll just look a bit neater with that passive wire covered so let's give that a try next well I've got that tacked in place So just going to put a bit of heat in it now and then curve it round the back here. Then we'll weld it in, dress it in and that's that bit done. Let's get some heat in it. That should be enough. We'll get some sort of good shape out of that. Right, weld it round, then dress it all in, and then we'll try the GPS back in it. Oh. 
we get in there? sat nav gps even oh there we go another long day whoo right that's the main body about done i'm much happier with that now i'll say i've, I've probably said it loads of times before if something starts niggling me on a job i've done and we all do things that we just, you know I'm unhappy with I have to change it I just can't leave it like it or else I, I can end up falling out with the whole bike <laughs> so yeah that had to be changed there's just I kept looking at it and looking at it and looking at it each day I'm in here no it's it's not right it, it needs to change so version two much smaller much more compact and a bit more interesting I think let's have a look behind the camera so I can see what I'm doing in the screen so there we go it will sit on the bike about like so oh my phone's going <laughs> So we've, uh, I'll say we've fabricated this ridge in there to save just finishing it flat with nothing there. I just, I just think it's a better finish, makes it a bit more interesting. We've got, uh, so I'm trying to hold the, ga hold the gauges in so they don't fall on the floor. We've got this bit here that hides the passive wire from the GPS unit. So yeah, so what we've got to do next is make a separate box in this area here and it's got a little strip of warning lights in there so your oil your indicators your eye beam i think that's about just over 40 mil long so it's not it's not big so it'll fit in that area nicely and what i'm going to do i'm going to make that box separate it will follow this shape but it will bolt on and i'm going to do it deep enough to go right to the back of the clocks then what I'll do then is cut all this bottom out where I've got the wires poking through at the minute just through these separate holes I'm going to cut the whole bottom out so I can get in there when the clocks go in for the final time and get in and be able to do the nuts up on the back of each clock and then the box with the warning lights in will then bolt up onto this underneath I don't know, two or four bolts or whatever and I'll do it nice and neat so it looks nice and then all this wiring will all come out of one hole in the box we put the warning lights in obviously this will be reduced it's far too long at the minute I've just taped it all up so yeah it'll make it easier to build you know if there's ever a problem with these gauges they'll be easier to swap over like that say so trying to fiddle around in Lot, these tiny holes obviously you couldn't do the nuts through there so yeah the bottom will be cut out and then the that separate box will bolt in and hide everything so there we go i'm happy with that it's got plenty of different shapes going on with this and the ridges and then i've done this with sort of a visible rim around it this one's like smooth straight in and we'll make a nice bracket i can't do the bracket till we've got uh, the warning light box built and we'll make a nice bracket so it all bolts up to the top yoke so yeah it'll be literally sit, sat on the bike like so oh time for the comfy chair oh i reckon i could just put my feet up now and uh probably slip into the land of nod for an hour <laughs> i'm not gonna though oh anyway i thought 
for those of you who are interested, I thought I'd do a list of everything that we've got for the bike so far. Obviously there's still a few things to add to this list as I go through the build, but when I sat and wrote this down, <laughs> I'd forgot half of it that we'd got for it. I, yeah, we've got quite a lot. And obviously with it to being the, the special sticker, it's, you know, it's made this bike happen. This is how we was able to build this bike and hopefully we're gonna have a, a very, very happy man or lady on Christmas day who's gonna be the new owner. Uh, I don't know what the, what's the date today? What is the date? It's the 15th, I think. 15th, I don't know if I'll get this video edited today or tomorrow. 15th or 16th. That means we've only got, whenever I get this video out, four or five days left before we close the sale of the stickers off because if, uh, if it carries on, we won't have enough time to get them posted out. So yeah, you got sort of, let's say four days. You got four days left before the special stickers, we close it all up and get everything finalized so you've all got your stickers and numbers like i said before don't panic if you if for some bizarre reason you don't get them in the post do not panic if your paypal payments come in you have 100 percent got a number for the draw but you will get your stickers you will get your stickers if the odd one goes wrong you'll get them after Christmas regardless if you've won or not you're still getting them stickers so so don't panic if you haven't received anything 100% you're in the draw anyway I've literally been everything I've bought I've been scribbling it down on bits of paper here and there so I've collected all them up and got it onto one piece and yeah I thought wow <laughs> I didn't realize I'd got so much for it so we'll start with, uh, we bought the tank brackets and rubbers. This is not in order of purchase, by the way. Uh, we got stainless tube and stainless bends. Exhaust spring kit, which isn't on it yet. Fork stanchions that ain't fitted yet, they're over there. Obviously they'll get fitted when the bike gets built up. Forks, the GSX 1100F think it is forks uh, brake calipers <coughs> uh, wheel spindle yokes uh, pipe reducer on the exhaust pipe here stainless tires which are over there rear wheel we've got a slightly different size rear wheel on it and standard uh, front disc front wheel levers a master cylinder because all this was bought separate uh, wheel nuts which are in the drawer behind me black handlebars at last I will have a look at them actually I haven't shown you all them yet fuel cap fuel tank front light envelope I've written envelopes on there because we've bought gazillions of envelopes that ignore the envelopes <laughs> uh, Exhaust, Did I, I thought I said exhaust. Exhaust, that's the, the Dalkovic exhaust, front pipes. The lever for the other side. Rear shock. Carbs and filters, ouch. <coughs> Scorpion silencer. Cosso speedo, Cosso rev counter. Uh, the M unit blue to take care of all the electrics. The CR switches. Uh, the GPS speedo sensor. Uh, the Shinyo rear lights, which I've got to get my head around that one, haven't I? Uh, Daytona warning lights, which are ordered but not here yet. And I've also ordered the motor gadget bar end indicators, which are really smart. So far, we've still got to the... What else we got to get for it? some diner stuff coils and things like that 
and obviously there's going to be paint there's going to be seat covering there's going to be powder coating for the frame painting the engine sorting the wheels out it's just we're nearly at that stage where it'd be all cosmetic stuff so i'll put it all on the list as we go along but so far it's four thousand four hundred and sixteen pounds ninety three pence yeah it, it's had some bits thrown at it it has it really has but it's looking a bit different isn't it it's a bit different to what it was when it rolled in here uh, let's quickly show you them switches i forgot about that so yeah we got the black handlebars now which look much better and these switches all they all fit lovely they do obviously we'll be sorting the top yoke out i'm going to make some nice things over all that's as I get to that bit but yeah the switches are they look quite neat actually and I'm pleased with the black handlebars it's it's looking good up here now it is yeah so obviously all these will be running through the, the motor gadget M unit And next we'll finish, uh, we'll hopefully have the, the parts and finish that off. And then, back onto this with the rear lights. And then the seat pan and the little side panels so it all flows into the tank. So we've, we've still got a hell of a lot of fabrication work to do on it. We have, but well, it's getting there, we, we're ticking bits off every week so there we go i think that's me done for today quite tired actually it's been a long one as usual so yeah the about four days left on the special stickers then obviously christmas day you'll know who you are <laughs> it's gonna make someone's christmas and again huge huge thank you to everybody who's taken part i really appreciate it it's it's been amazing it really has so i appreciate every single one of you fantastic so yeah that'll do me i'll go down the house and put my feet up now cheers for watching guys take care